Caramelization is another non-enzymic browning reaction. This time, simple sugars end up being broken down and the new ones are formed when we add heat and remove water. Sugar crystals are white, but on exposure to heat, they gradually become golden brown and caramelize. This is due to change in the sugar molecules. Natural sugars in vegetables are caramelized when the vegetables are cooked. Onions, for example, contain natural sugars. When the onions are slow fried in oil to make French onion soup, the natural sugar in them turns from a white to a brown color. If they were heated with water, caramelization would not occur. In this recipe, I'm using a small amount of sugar, sucrose, which acts as a fast food, added to speed up the process. But if you have more time, this is not needed. It is important to stir the onions as they caramelize to prevent them from burning. The toasted French bread I am serving with this recipe is another example of dextrinization, which we've learned about when making bread rolls. In a traditional French onion soup recipe, grated cheese is added to the bread. With French onion soup, both caramelization and dextrinization are shown in one recipe. How good is that? What have we learnt? Caramelization describes a non-enzymic browning reaction when simple sugars end up being broken down and new ones are formed when we add heat and remove water. Sugar crystals are white, but on exposure to heat, they gradually become golden brown and caramelize. This is due to a change in the sugar molecules. The natural sugar in vegetables caramelizes when they are cooked in oil.